Deborah Borchardt, and joining me today at the Green Mark Report is Andreas Newman. He is the Chief Creative Director at Jushi Holdings. He also goes by Dre. Dre, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. I want to just start out quickly with, tell us exactly what you do as the Chief Creative Director at Jushi. Yeah, thank you, Deborah. So that's a, that's a good question, you know, I mean, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a big question, but so... So how how I got into it basically? So my my last my last uh, endeavor was like, a, and I, I did this pretty long, like four years. I was involved uh, with a company called Ideen, who did user focusing on user experience, like a like a Silicon Valley company, and that really was the first touch point, like where we where we met with Jushi in the beginning, my my team, and we were talking about the experience a lot, you know, and how digital and the brick and mortar have to work together. And we, we started basically, I started dating with Jushi with a, with a, with a single project, basically we did, and it was a research project, <clears throat> how all that starts uh, on Californian retail. And that developed into really my, my, as well, me learning a lot about the business and then the interest really it triggered to, to become part of Jushi, which then happened in February. When I joined, basically, there was, it was really fresh. We just, Jushi just acquired like um, in Pennsylvania, like Beyond Hello, our retail chain. There was only three stores then. It was kind of in the, in, in the process of, there was no digital yet. There was no online ordering, but very analog, very like, uh, very analog for me, like coming from the outside world, from Silicon Valley companies, like no data, <laughs> nothing, just people going in the store, paying and leaving, and you never knew who your customer is. So the first thing we did was really my team is getting involved into, into, into the digital part of things, which is my big expertise. And then the responsibility, your original question, my responsibility goes from, we run all the digital, the e-commerce, e we run, uh, we built all the new brands, which launched a lot of brands. And as well, we are uh, basically doing, I, I don't want to call it really marketing in, in cannabis. I always say that like, it's not marketing. It's why I call my team, the creative team. It's really, um, you, you're, in a, you're in a hacking success uh, situation where you always have to find different ways to market, which is as well for my past, a big expertise. I was always like one of the, the guys who the first, when I was in traditional agencies, I was the first one to do brand and entertainment. So go basically beyond like traditional advertising, just showing posters and, 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 and products uh, wasn't, wasn't working anymore. So you have to find more sophisticated ways. And that fits very well in the cannabis industry, right? That expertise to, to kind of um, build stories and, and have like relevant those stories connect to the customer uh, and not just hold up signs, which you cannot do anyway. That's the big challenge, right? So, so my background from advertising, creative, and then digital as well, plus my entertainment uh, business back on, I think was like a perfect fit for Jushi at that moment when I joined and I continue to do and be responsible for all those things. Uh, so digital branding, all creative, all communication. Um, the things that you just mentioned is your exposure with the entertainment world and you're getting a lot of attention right now because of your background as a photographer and in particular a photographer that's worked with some fairly big names in, in the music yeah. industry yeah. and it's super interesting that you've got this in in your history uh, and you've been able to kind of parlay some of these multi-talented uh, skills into you know, these big pictures. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience and what that was like when you were working in that area? Yeah, this is a super cool question. I, I always um, I always think it's it's all the same really, you know, like I'm, I feel I'm still working in this area. You, the cannabis for me is this the new, is the new Dave Grohl or the new George It's the Romney. new rock and roll. <laughs> the new, so my, my entertainment, you just asked my entertainment, uh, 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 like expertise comes from really working my, my passion. I, 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 I directed a lot of commercials, you know, I, I, very, very early. So I did literally hundreds of commercials, uh, TV commercials. And then I went off that and went to the entertainment world, did more music. And this is where you, where you can create actually stuff which stays. 
and has a value, right? And specifically photography for me was my, was my big passion because I could actually own what I do. So the, when I take a photo, I'm still, you still own it and actually you can claim it and, and it's your thing and it's not so complicated. It's not like 15,000 people involved and you share with them the, the credit. So that's why photography was for me very close to my heart. But in the end, it's all creative creativity, right? And what you, whatever you do, and that's why my background is advertising. The entertainment world is just much more, you have to do something really good in order to, because you're not paying for it. You don't have the money like a, like a Procter & Gamble to just, just put that on air and then people have to watch it. You have to do things which people actually want to see, right? And even pay money for it to see it. So imagine you can translate this into like a world where you're, that's so good to, to have this experience because into a world where you cannot really advertise. Uh, you, you have to find ways to communicate with the consumer who wants your product and make this experience fun and make it like, uh, uh, desirable, tell desirable stories and show the desirable content. And that is what I can, what I do all day long in, in the entertainment world, in the music world, and has been awarded with, with lots of, lots of awards I won and all. And then I'm bringing all this to Jushi and translating just that, that creative, creative, uh, vision into, on, on cannabis. And uh, cannabis is my new, um, star i have to promote right i'm and, sure there were certainly challenges with working with the folks in entertainment um but i would think that the challenges with cannabis are really uh, something because you're trying to take your creative juices and talents and you can't just just like you use it for a particular exactly. packaging or signage because there's so many limitations so it pushes yeah. you even even further into exactly. digging into your creative bones to come up with okay well i want to like you said tell this story or get this certain feeling across yeah. but boy i've got i'm handcuffed by so many different ways now i've got i've got to really show how creative i am <laughs> exactly exactly it is exactly right how you said it. it's 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 like the the most complex puzzle to solve now and and i feel i was kind of pre prepared prepared for it and if you don't have that you can you can be good at one thing, but I think today in today's world, with all the all the channels you have around, you have to be good at more than one thing. You have to be really good at digital. You have to be really good at like creating content. You have to be good at business. And you, because if you're not good at business, there's, there's no re, there's you're not going to go far as well in the entertainment. Where have you made your biggest impact at Jushi? I think you know, like uh, so. Uh, I keep saying so when you when you when you enter a company like this and you have like leadership like like Jim and the team, the executive team coming from financial backgrounds, coming from Wall Street, you know, they really train, they want to see numbers. And so this is the second half of my brain. So I'm kind of half creative, half numbers. I know if you don't do business, you're like, you, you cannot, you don't survive long if you just the pretty fair, make pretty pictures and that's it. Yeah, you know, you don't have a seat on the table, you know, you, maybe sometimes, but so you, but you won't you have last to make long. It, exactly. <laughs> but you have to make an impact. This is normally, this is a business, right? So, so I think the most impact we had, my, I said not I, so my team, uh, because I didn't come alone. I came with like my, my, key, my key players, like uh, Benjamin McAllister and Julian Scarf, which was the, the, the kind of the foundation of, of, of my last agency is always coming with me, the team. And we, the first thing we had to do is really install the online pl pre-order platform for Beyond Hello. And that had an incredible impact on, 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 on sales, right? This is with day one, the 23rd of April, 2020, just the pandemic is just starting. So the, the storm is starting of the pandemic. The sales were up on the 23rd on the, uh, on the e-commerce platform. And the day one was already, I've never seen anything like it. For, with no advertising, you, you had like a, over 30,000 sales or pre-ordering pre in the day one with no promotion. So... Today we're seeing days on, on, on 420, you see days like nearly a million dollars a day. I mean, imagine like, and that's, that's I've never seen anything like it. How, 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 how people want the product, how they, as well, the pandemic of, of course helped that they wanna, they, they're all on their phones. This is not, this is not people on the computer. So 85, 86% people, they, they are mobile, right? They, they go to their phone, pre-order, and then they wanna pick it up. They don't even wanna go to the store really, uh, uh, at least like, in pandemic times, now it's coming a little bit back, but this is, it was basically, I think it was the perfect storm for Beyond Hello, and then we added so fast more stores. We have nearly 
we have 20 stores now uh, around around our states but as well we were, we're about to we're about to come close to the maxing out even Pennsylvania being one of the, or the one of the biggest or the biggest player in Pennsylvania uh, retail players and have and are vertically integrated now so that all that all came together and I think that's my biggest impact like the online platform was the biggest impact so obviously it's exciting photographing rock and roll stars you're meeting multi-talented people that are are successful and and you know making an impact in the music world and now you're doing cannabis so which one is more fun working with the rock and rollers or working with the cannabis people you know for me <laughs> I don't even. I mean, I always. I'm. 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 I say I'm man. I'm a man of the present. You know, I'm. I'm not thinking back like how how nice it would be like to hang out with Dave Grohl or with uh, <laughs> the Foo Fighters. And I. I do this. I. It, it sounds sounds funny, but I do this anyway. When whenever you because they they honor my like or they 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 like what I do, and if they like what I do, they call me, and I can do the occasional shoot something selected. But to bring bringing that talent to. Uh, and not only me as well, my, my, my team to cannabis has been kind of, this is like moving out of, out of normality into like this bubble. And this is totally, this is, this is the most exciting thing I've seen because I speak now. So you, we speak to, we speak to, um, people who want to join like call celebrities or like, or like, like, like entertainment personalities or like who want to have their own weed brand. So they're contacting us every day and they talk to us. And I'm of, of course a good bridge for that because I can speak the language and I know as well how to do this stuff and not like just pay people to to be part of right. it. We don't need that. So so this helps a lot. But to answer your question, the fun is always, you know, the fun has to be always in the present. I mean, all this I've done a lot of stuff and I will do in the future more stuff. Cannabis is the most fun for me ever I've ever had. <laughs> Super. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I know that you're a very busy guy and oh, no, thank you. I wish Thanks you luck and thank you for taking the time to speak with Green Marker Report.